Yeah, baby. Spuggy and I, it's the, uh, what are we, the 19th of June? Yeah, whatever, 2007. We're suited up. We're suited up. It's minus four out there, and we're gonna go do some, uh, some star surfing. Cold. Do you wanna come with us? Come with us. We're suited up, and uh, this is the Galactic Federation. Hopefully, wherever you are, spread the love. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, you guys can see what we're seeing. It's three in the morning. We haven't quite hit uh, um, zero on the temperature just yet. But uh, buggy and I in our in our space suits, and uh, we are journeying around Earth sanctuary. These beautiful conditions. Jupiter's up. Scorpio's down, and uh, we're going for a, uh, a beautiful walk amongst the stars. And you're more than welcome to come and join us. Come with us. Yeah. You might need to get come gear. On. You might need to put on some special suits like this and, and, <laughs> <laughs> and, and get out of bed. And get out of bed. If you want to get out of bed, it is well going to get minus. If you're happy with that, I'm going to see something spectacle. Come yeah. with us. Oh, jeez. Oh, and you want to get bumped into a tree without knowing where you're looking, you're in trouble. Anyway, this looks beautiful. Get out of bed, you lazy bastards. <laughs> Dad, you're going to love this one. <laughs> anyway. You love this one, Joey. We've done the right thing. We've grabbed the timber from outside. It's been minus two outside, as you can understand. The level, the level of having the ability to combust anything is just remarkable on minus two. But anyway, buggy. Superstar Viking has come good. Anyway, we've got to this stage in the, in the homestead, which is great. Remember, we're minus two, minus three at the moment. This is great stuff. And I'm going to get wood that we've collected at the sanctuary, but I'm going to go and show Buggy. Instead of just grabbing it the way we would have thought we were, Dad's already had something else planned. <laughs> come with me. One way or the other. Your dad would have thought behind this whole place. Dad, dad had great thought behind the whole thing, you see, baby. Where's something? I'm going to go find timber, because firstly it's got to be kept away from the moisture. <laughs> you know, it was, I'm, I'm looking out there at the same time going, hey, where, where the hell are we going to have that when it's been raining for like the last 48 hours, intermittently, on and off? Okay, Dad would have maybe gone out here somewhere. I said, well, Dad can't put all these timber together they have to expect to carry it. Oh, Jesus be sorry, buggy. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Dad will be laughing at this, that's coming through anyway. In here, then I'm going, okay, dry timber, dry timber. Now, Dad's even made his own trolley to save you having to worry about taking it. You pick it up from here. You take it up. All the way back. Here you are, Joey. Well, we prior planning prevents this poor performance, Joey. <laughs> See what we're talking about? <laughs> this is where you get to tell people. That's right. And you get prior planning. That's right. This is probably just one of many reports that you're going to get by between now and... Well, what we don't know whether is your little wagons have been refilled up and they've been used. That's right. Come back to prior planning prevents piss poor performance. That's exactly right. But it is remarkable at minus two, minus three, just the fact that lights and headgear is actually still working for us, and the fact that we've got three fires going on at the same time, pretty amazing really. We found some dry timber on a car, and we're going to the homestead. So you Mediterraneans and Vikings? <laughs> See what's working. Yeah, the importance of fire. But, not so much as you do, but we like the waste fire. That's right. But like all great people around the world, we all come together at some point, at least have fire. Whether you're a Viking or you're Mediterranean, isn't it just lovely? Anyway, we're going to have a trolley, and you want to come along and you can come later on, because I'm going to run out of footage, and you come and join the party. <laughs> later. Later. Yeah. But anyway, your invention work, Joey. Ten past ten in the morning, June one nine. The Raiders just started. There's his tracks. We've got four hours with the earth moving equipment. Let's see what we can play with. Yeah, baby. Tommy's pulling out some posts, making a new road. Little beauty. 
Welcome back to Earth Sanctuary World Nature Centre. It's June 1, 9, 2007. Tommy, what are we up to? Yeah, we're going to take some human beings out. Uh, it is the 1-9, the day 1-9. We're about to do some grading at the, uh, the Earth Sanctuary grounds. It's very early in the morning. It's a bit frosty, but uh, we've got a couple of fellas up the front of the property awaiting our, uh, our command to uh, get stuck into the, uh, the earth moving. Yeah, baby, we've got some big earth moving equipment here at the sanctuary. We're uh, getting our perimeters, our fire breaks in for the big summer, the big drought, the big bake and uh, we're going to clear some land so we can get this Earth Sanctuary number one Earth Observation Centre on the planet to keep an eye on what's going on up there because if you're not keeping an eye up there then who is? Because there's a lot of activity. Can you see it? I hope you can. Infrared. G'day everyone. It's June 1-9-2007. We're at midday. The grade is still cracking on out there on the perimeters. You can hear the engines roaring, it's just great. We're carving our way through the sand and it's just beautiful. Beautiful cold, cold wind blowing here in Central Australia. Really, really icy. You can see the, uh, the top ice crystals up there in the higher atmosphere, it's just amazing. I've just grabbed some beautiful, fresh rainwater from our beautiful uh, rainwater collection tank here. This one's about 8,000 litres, running off the gutters. Just magnificent, best water you'll ever taste in your life. Catch it yourself, just great. Anyway, Joey, your pumpkin growing really well at the moment, but that temperature hit that we had two days ago of minus four, minus five, really killed the pumpkin. There we go, there, there's the color, all turned into black from the ice, but there's still a couple of good pumpkins here growing. We're gonna eat him pretty shortly. He's just magnificent, going really well. Anyway, uh, we've got another truck arriving in about an hour's time to deliver some, uh, some tubing, some steel tubing for our domes. We have a beautiful earth village structure which we're building for the entire planet. Uh, the Federation superstars here are putting together all their knowledge and collective information from uh, years of experience out here in the desert and we're building an earth village for the kids of tomorrow, for the future. It's all shit fuck yeah, come on, we'll show you a bit more in a minute. Hold on to your seats. Outstanding. Yeah, baby. Uh, good afternoon, boys and girls. Uh, make that good morning. We're doing all right. We're about an hour and a half into it. We're just on the western side of uh, the World Nature Center. Uh, this is the observation, uh, the southern observation wing for the, uh, the beautiful southern sky. So we're gonna make a bit of space up so human beings, good numbers of them can come and gather. Looking all right, we're gonna do a royal sweep See this over here, a bit of sand, a royal sweep. You can hear the distant hum of the uh, of the grader over there. He's on the eastern wing, cutting loose on the uh, on the fire track as we speak. So we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Yeah, yeah, magnificent, Tommy. We've uh, just been digging up our posts, allowing some space for the grader to get in. Tommy's out here working on the posts here at the moment. This is our, our observation deck for the southern hemisphere. This is where we get all those beautiful lights and uh, activity deep down the south of, uh, of the atmosphere. It is just awesome. Anyway, we've got a, a little mate here. It's a little gecko. There you go, champ. Say hello to everyone. I hope you can see him there. He's a little champion. There you go, baby. Anyway, uh, as Tommy said, it's 11 o'clock. That grader is still uh, churning up the sand and we're growing, going great guns. You beauty. Day. The grade has come a little closer to the house, so uh, it's all looking good from here at the sanctuary. And uh, got a bit more, another two hours of grade to go, so all good. They've just done the fire tracks, three kilometres around the perimeters of the sanctuary. There's 100 acres here, so there's a fair bit to do in that. So uh, a bit more to go, another couple of hours, and there we go, all good. 